Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Xbox Play Anywhere feature that Microsoft announced last year at E3 and is going rolling out last year with a bunch of their games, Record, Gears of War, etc. But before I get into the video, I do want to say the other day I uploaded a video recommending six Netflix originals that I think are worth watching. If you're interested in checking that out, there will be a link in the description box below. Last year when Microsoft announced the Xbox Play Anywhere program, uh, the feature, where if you buy an Xbox One version of a game, you get the Windows 10 version for free, or vice versa. I I really liked it. I thought that was a great idea. Until recently, it didn't make a difference to me, but I never had anything against it. I only got a computer a few weeks ago. And the best thing about it is, since I got my computer, the second I loaded it up, I had a bunch of games ready to download, including Recore, Gears of War 4, Fallout Shelter, Quantum Break, because I pre-ordered it when... It was coming out, so I got the Windows 10 version free. That was before they announced this whole Play Anywhere program, but I think uh, it was something that they were pushing with Quantum Break before they announced that and just testing the war. And Killer Instinct, etc. You get the point. And one of the best features that when you're playing a game on Windows 10 or Xbox, you can go back and forth and your saves sync, so you can just play on the Xbox one day and then go over and play on the Windows 10 without losing any progress. I think that's amazing. I do see some people complain and say that they don't care about this feature. And when I see that, I'm like, really? Just because you're either just a console-only player, or you don't have a thing for PC gaming, or whatever the reason is, this is a this gives you value, even though it's not directed at you if you don't play on the PC, but it's giving other people value without any extra cost. So there's really no downfall to it. And to just say you don't want it or just diss it like that, it's really unfair. People complain when certain games go over to the PC, but you have to remember, Microsoft is also the Windows 10. They also publish games on Windows, obviously, so they have a right to do that. It's not really betraying the Xbox or anything like that, certain people say. And they have already came out and said certain games will be exclusive to the PC and some exclusive to the Xbox only. One of the games lots of people wouldn't want to see go to PC is Halo. And I actually really wouldn't mind Halo 6 being an Xbox Play Anywhere title. Halo is still a big game, but it's nowhere near as big as it used to be. And Halo 5 got a lot of backlash for its story. I think if Halo 6 was an Xbox Play Anywhere title with crossplay for co-op campaign, firefight modes, and custom games and stuff like that, I think that'd be great. More people get to play it, so it's a win-win. You would want more people to play Halo, therefore it helps the game that you love grow. But that's just my opinion, so I know a lot of people are going to disagree. Because in today's age with gaming... It's either you're one or the other. You can't be just a gamer anymore where you like consoles and PC or you don't have a team because it's all about the games ultimately in the end. Yeah, everyone has a preference. I understand that. My preference is Xbox. I don't really play PC. Uh, I play Sony exclusives when I can on my PlayStation 4. Same with the Nintendo. But I'm a fan of the games. I have my preference of the box I use overall. But ultimately, I don't hate any of the major corporations like lots of people go on, on YouTube or Twitter. I think it's ridiculous whenever someone has an exclusive game, the other side always just says it's bad and it's just back and forth. It's kind of pointless, really. But apologies, I did get a little bit sidetracked there. I guess a little bit of uh, stuff was coming out, you know, how I feel about some sort of stuff going on in the gaming community right now. But I ultimately think the Xbox Play Anywhere is an amazing feature. It's not, You get an extra version of the game at no extra cost, even if it doesn't do anything for you. A lot of people out there really do appreciate it, because for a lot of people, they like playing on both, or now they have a chance to just get one and they also get the other, or if they do get an Xbox one day, or they do get a computer the next, you know, it's a great feature, it's not doing anything to you. I hope this stays, I hope enough people have been um, using both with the copies or whatever they need to do for it to be successful. But well, I'm happy they went this way. And I want to say, Microsoft isn't the first one to do something like this. Sony did do this with the Vita, where you get certain games on the Vita, you also get the PlayStation version. So, I hope Sony does something like this in the future. Because I know the Vita is kind of a dead system right now, but I'm sure they'll have something new to combat this. But ultimately, if, someone, if they do do it, it's like a win-win for everyone, because then you're getting more value for your money, and then everyone's happy. So that's my thoughts. I really am happy with the program. Until recently, it wasn't doing anything for me, but never had anything against it. So what do you think of the Xbox Play Anywhere? Let me know in the comments below. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See us.